Hello, my friends. Hello. My name is Naima, if you're new here, welcome back to the vlogs. It's almost 8 a.m., it's July, it's a Friday, and we're going to have a solo beach trip! Woo! Guys, this is literally so awkward because the other day, I got a conviction for wearing bikinis. I was like... Oh, I was talking to one of my guy friends and then after, ever since then like I don't feel comfortable wearing a bikini I don't think it glorifies God, but that's just personally um, So it's kind of awkward because like I don't have anything Else that I would wear also. I'm going alone. So that's kind of like Creepy for me, but I do want to get a good tan like you know, I might just wear these bottoms. I also really don't have any that, so like, I right, she guys. All right, I'm really gonna get going. I'm gonna try to be like aesthetic and film a montage. At the same time, I do need to leave, like right now. There's no time to waste, like we need to go right now. I think this is gonna be the bikini. They're both from Target. I just wanted to say, don't do what I just did and ignore conviction. I don't know what was going on in my brain, but I was just like, Oh, I don't know what to wear. I could have worn shorts, like sports shorts. And then later on, my friends um, held me to the standard. And then they're like, Naima, you're wearing shorts. I went to the beach another day with my friends. And I wear shorts. And I felt so much more comfortable. And it just felt so much better. So here's another reminder to not ignore convictions. <laughs> what was going on in my head? I don't know. That's why community is really important and that's why you need people to keep you in line and to hold you to that standard. So yeah, okay, back to the video. solo beach trip because none of my friends could hang out today and this is the only day that I can go to the beach in a while so I just was like you know what I don't mind being alone I usually like it or sometimes prefer it that's like another way of saying like I didn't really have a choice to come here alone like it wasn't a choice I invited everyone I knew because half of my friends are away at a camp and then there's like I don't know some are so random but beaches are an hour away from my house but it's so worth it. We have two stops to make. One is gas, and the second one is food. I want to get some watermelon, maybe a sandwich or something um, for lunch. So comment down below, have you ever been to the beach by yourself? That scared me, gosh darn. Comment if you've ever been to the beach by yourself before. I've never been alone to the beach. So am I nervous? about getting like kidnapped or something a little but not really because I know people go to the beach alone all the time am I looking forward to going to the beach alone yes actually I brought like 15 books and I am ready I'm just gonna chill and I'm definitely gonna be bored after like 10 minutes but I want to work with that boredom also just have so much Bible time I'm very excited. I hope you are excited for what the day brings. Hopefully, I don't see anyone I know. Oh, should we also go to Starbucks? Wow. I do have coffee, so I don't really need Starbucks. 
But like when people show up to the beach with Starbucks, it's like the biggest flex ever. I feel like I don't, for no, I don't even know. I don't, there's no reason why, but it just is to me. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Solo beach day. Oh yes. Windows down. Windows down. Let's pump this music. Play the car playlist. Play the car playlist. Car now playing on Apple Music. Gotta go. Um, can I just get a six inch on white bread? Can I try? Yeah. And what kind do you want? Um, I just get turkey and provolone cheese and double meat on the turkey. Double meat? Yep. Can I actually get white bread? Sorry. Oh. Thank you. Good. Yep. And then can I get the shredded lettuce, the pickles, tomatoes, uh, cucumber? It was a little bit of a journey, so now it's time to set up. I don't know what you can see and what you can't. So, I found a cute little spot, so let's set up. by the dunes. <laughs> I feel so awkward because there's like teenagers near me and they're all together and it's so awkward but it's fine and you're probably just gonna, I don't even know, just eat my breakfast sandwich and relax. Oh there was a seagull. It's been like an hour at the beach. I've just been reading, sitting in the sun. I went into the water. It's so nice. This is what I'm reading. I am very determined to finish it today. There you go. Is that enough footage? I don't know what you want me to do because I like only have myself to film. Like no one can film me, so that's what that's the beach footage, I guess. <laughs> now I'm gonna walk all the way back over here. Then put the camera down. Water for real. Also, yeah, okay. My <laughs> cute little setup. Alright, time to eat my soggy subway. It actually looks really good. I'm not gonna complain about it. Before I end the video, I wanted to do a little beach reflection. So, would I recommend going to the beach alone? Yes, it was super peaceful. No one rushed me. I went when I wanted to. It was a really good experience. Very calm. I honestly wasn't even bored because I kept reading and I just went in the water. Like I kept myself busy and I finished a huge chunk of that book that I was reading and the next day I finished it. So like I really got to get into my book. If you have the opportunity to have a solo beach day, I would definitely do it and even use it just to like be with God and just be alone and just like pray and just spend some time with yourself. And I think that's very important. Have a good day. I love you. Jesus loves you more. So, okay.